Hi everyone, welcome back to the channel. Well, I know, Crayola, the budget of budget pencils. You know, everybody thinks of them as children's pencils. But we've been doing a budget pencil series and these are currently £18.99 sterling. And if we look in comparison to the Amazon basic pencils, they're only 72 in that set. And I know they've gone up a bit, but they were £13.99 when I was kindly gifted them. So I've had these sitting in my colouring cart for months and months and months. And I've just kept putting it off and putting it off and putting it off. I thought, oh, oh do you know, I don't, I, don't, I don't reckon there'll be much cop. But we're going to try anyway. So what I thought we'd do is... I've got, I've, I've made a swatch sheet, we are going to swatch them, but when I've swatched them I'm going to do a video straight away on um, celebrating the Rita Berman's release of my trip um, through Africa, which I can't wait to get my hands on. If you look at these pictures, this is a free download, I'll put the link down below so that you can, um, just try to alleviate some of this shadow, um, so that you can download it and get your copy ready for a colour along if you want and then we're going to try the Crayola pencils on it she says <laughs> well I just fingers crossed so let's get into it they come in this cardboard box and you open the lid like this and you get two very slim flimsy 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 um, containers that you can pull out for your colours. Now, I don't have a proper pencil case to put them in at the moment. I've got a wrap, I'll show you in a second, um, lined up and squashed in there, because I don't have a pencil case that will fit them. I couldn't keep them in here, I, you know me and my brain, I, would, I, I just wouldn't be able to use them. So on the back of the box, it says they are long lasting, pre-sharpened. Well, I've sharpened them all because they had little stubby, you know, like um, packaging tips on them. And I always think it's good to, to sharpen your pencils first anyway. So, but you get all the colours and their names on the back. So what I've done is taken them out of the box. Let me show you as, as best I can. Um, I've taken them out of the box and I've wedged them. Look at these beautiful colours in this wrap that is too small. And I've numbered every single one of them, one to 100. Aren't they gorgeous colours? Oh, if only they come out like that. So, if we take a closer look at the pencil itself, here we are, Crayola. Um, and on there, you've got the name. And I've just numbered them with a little sticker myself. Because the um, printing on some of them is really hard to see and not very well done. So other than that, that's the pencil. They've got an open end, they're not capped. None of them broke when I sharpened them and they all seemed pretty on centre. So I was quite pleased about that. Here's a Prisma. Don't shout at me for comparing it. They are probably slightly bigger than a Prisma, but nowhere near as big as a Derwent. This is a Derwent blender. So nowhere near as that. So they're quite slender pencils. They feel really nice in your hand. They're light. Some of them were really hard to sharpen. I sharpened these over a number of days with my Dahl 133, the crank sharpener I've got. And they felt really hard to sharpen to start with. But that's that. These are budget pencils. So I did a little swatch sheet. And what I did is I've kept them in the order on the back of the box because, I'll tell you why, when I was playing, the barrels and the colours do not match up at all. So this is going to be vital that you have a swatch sheet for these pencils. Don't just go, I'm sorry, I'm just trying to organise this light a bit better. Don't just go um, pulling one out because it looks like a nice colour, the right colour that you want and then finding out that it's nowhere near. Let me turn that off. No, it looks incredibly dark. Um, yeah, and that it's nowhere near the colour you want. <clears throat> so 
so that's why it's really important to swatch them and it's really important um no it's not really important it's the reason why i kept the order because can you imagine trying to order all these pencils and not knowing what they look like and you'd have to swatch and swatch and reorder and reorder and I'm, we've got too many things going on in our lives to do that haven't we folks so let me bring you in and let's get started so um, I had a lovely lovely subscriber and friend on my Facebook group I'm just trying to take number one out who messaged me with the free download, um, where to get the free download for Rita Berman's colouring page that I've just shown you. And I leapt with joy when I saw it. And I actually don't feel too bad. That doesn't feel too bad at all. That's mahogany. I'm gonna try and put them back into some order. Number two, brick red. Oh, sorry. Did I just smash you in the face? <laughs> I'm so sorry. Well, these would be good for my um, ASMR colouring. You can hear them. They don't feel scratchy. They don't feel too bad, actually. I was expecting the worst, folks. They've got some ace names, um, like, um, where was it? Wild Blue Yonder, Razzle Dazzle Rose, um, where's the other one? There's a blue one. Um, Absolute Zero, which I thought was awesome. So they've got some really cool names, just, just a bit of fun. I mean, they are kids' pencils, so they're marketed at children. And I like that they don't claim to be anything other, really. You know, they, they don't claim to be light, fast, professional. They're just a hundred colours. Now, I do believe... <coughs> correct me if I'm wrong in the comments. Oh, that's pretty. Jazzberry Jam. I do believe that it's got the skin set in here, in this 100 set. Why am I keep knocking you? How is that happening? I don't know how that's happening. You're not attached to me. So I don't know how that's happening, folks. You're on a, you're attached to a shelf above me. So I don't know how we're shaking. That's very odd. Okay, ruby red. Yeah, so I like that there's no false claims. They are what they are, a hundred colors. And yeah, the, the skin set is meant to be in here. That's all right. I thought, oh, here we go. Lucy's fluffed up again. <sighs> this one's just red. And that is a nice, well, oops. It's quite pinky. Oh, look at the mess I've made. Only me. You gotta love fluff ups if you come to my channel. Swatching would not be the same if it just went so smoothly that you know, this is me we're talking about. After all, red orange. Yeah, they don't feel too bad. The cardstock I'm using is um, just some generic white cardstock. Um, oh, I keep catching everything on my jumper. Um, generic white cardstock that I get from Amazon. I put it on my wish list. It's at the bottom of my wish list. And the reason I put it there is it's really hard to, uh, the reason I put it on my wish list, ooh, like that, is that it's really hard to refine these things. When you find something you like, you know, I know Amazon's done that um, order, you know, reorder thing, but um, yeah, so I keep it there so that if I want more, I can just go on my wish list and buy it. It is really nice stuff. Cantaloupe, look at that. So are they smudgy? They're not crumbly. I think the only reason I smudged that was because I snapped the lead. Look at this one, sizzling sunset. Now I don't do um, fluorescence very much, but I think we could get away with using that one. 
not too fluorescent. What's this one? Just, just plain orange. That feels nice and soft and squishy, that one. Not Prisma soft and squishy, but um, Amazon Basics are softer than these, in case you were wondering. But you only get 72. I mean, it's one thing swatching, uh, like I've said before. Let me try and, if we move out slightly, there. I might be able to get all the colours in so you can see as I go. Um, yeah, it's one thing swatching. It's a very different thing when you go to colour and blend light orange in a, in a, on a picture. So, the reason why, well, part of the reason why I chose the uh, Rita Bourbon one is because it's a download. So, if these pencils turn out to be a nightmare, I haven't ruined a beautiful new book. Heat wave, this one's called. Look at that, that's quite fluorescent. I don't like fluorescent pencils. <laughs> More colours. But they're not too bad, they're not like... You, we could use them for something. Orange circuit. They fade out nicely and you can layer them up. Well, you can press hard and get the colour you get, um, that's going to be it. You know, you're not going to get... <clears throat> you are, I presume, I'm saying, uh, that you're not going to be able to layer and layer and layer with these pencils. I do like how they fade out. And you can get dark, but I wouldn't have thought you'd be able to go over it too many times. Okay, excuse my arm, I'm trying to get out this stupid wrap. But I ordered them um, this morning, early hours of this morning. And um, I thought there is no way that I'm gonna lose this order. How can I <laughs> how can I keep them so that my swatching is not a farce like usual? So uh, I've had this wrap in my drawer for a long time, um, but I don't really like the way it, it, the pencils fold in on themselves. They bash against each other. So this is just for, oh, look at that lovely light yellow. This is just for swatching purposes. And then I'll, um, I'll have to f buy a case for them if they're any good. If they're not, and I don't like them, they'll go back in the box. Um, well, if I don't, I, I don't think I won't like them. I, I say if I'm, they're not going to be a popular choice of pencil on the channel, they can go back in the box. They'll still have their stickers on. I'll still have the swatches, so it's not going to hurt. Lovely yellows. Love that unmellow yellow. That's gorgeous. Now we've got a fluorescent yellow called Lemon Glacier. Oh, that's very fluorescent. Look at that. Wow, that's very fluorescent. Oh dear. Well, I suppose you could use them for fireworks and things. And we have, we have got um, bonfire night coming up, fireworks. Lemon yellow, that's a good lemon yellow. Um, see, that barrel looks almost green. I hope you can pick up on that colour. Um, nothing like that. We haven't been doing that, have we? Let's do. Let's let's do one a uh, one uh, row. <laughs> Palm leaf. Oh, I like that colour. Oh, I like that colour. That's not too bad. It's not too bad, actually. But some of them, you, yeah, do be aware they are very different. What's this one? Lime green. Oh, I like this one too. What do you think, folks? Have you got the Crayolas? I mean, it's the last thing I thought of 
when um, looking at pencils. Now, I think I've got them before the budget series kicked off, you know, on the channel where we've been looking at budget pencil range. Um, and I think in the grand scheme of things, our budget pencil really is um, olive, or oh, I like olive colours, has been the um, Spectrum Noir Colorista pencils. They were very budget. Uh, the Amazon Basics, very budget. What else have we had that are really budget? I mean, we've, we've done Castle Arts and we've done Feeler and we've done Arctic Lime. Oh, it's a shame that that's... Well, it's meant to be fluorescent, but look how that's come out. That's actually like a really subtle green. I quite like that. Um, what was I saying about budget pencils? Yeah, we've done um, Castle Arts and, and Feeler, but really, I mean, Feeler were, but Castle Arts, they're sort of £50 a time. And that's, you know, uh, is that really budget if you have to replace them because you've got colours that have run out? <clears throat> Fern. I can't wait to... Um, that's what I was saying. I'd lost track. I'm just going rambling on and on at you. Um, I said, I can't wait. I was going to say, I can't... Oh, I can't wait to colour the Rita Berman page. A little bit of crumbles there. And, um, yeah, her book is coming. Jade Green. And this one I've seen on Instagram and Facebook, um, some of the pictures, that, you know, the sneak peeks of some of the pictures. I can't wait for that book. Oh, I just love it. We're gonna have, there's, there's animals in there and oh. That's what I call green. A bit bluey, that one. And we've got shamrock. So I'm so excited. We all love a Rita, don't we? Life wouldn't be the same without Rita Burma's books. She was the first colour with me that I did on the channel. Well, that's nice. That feels really soft, this pencil. <clears throat> and she um, sends me her new books. She has contacted me about Africa um, book. So I'm just fingers crossed that... It arrives safely because they're so precious to me because she signs them for me and they're so precious to me. Teal. So we're going into our bluey greens now. That's pretty. Look at that. Oh, they've some lovely colours. I'm not so sure about the fluorescence. They can shove those. <laughs> right, now I have to take this little section out and pray that I don't fluff it up. So we, look, they were all wedged in like that. So I need, bear with me, 38, there it is, which is aqua green. Oh yes, oh, that's nice and soft too. Look at that. Oh, do you know what, I didn't expect the color payoff to be like that, 39 is green blue now i've numbered these they don't have numbers on them but um i just put them in the order of the back of the box if you wanted those numbers too um, 40 turquoise now that crumbled i didn't press that hard on that pencil oh look oh my goodness Oh my goodness, what a beautiful colour that is. Isn't that gorgeous, that turquoise? <gasps> oh, right, 41. This is why I have to number them, because I'm just so dizzy and get so excited with things. I'm like a child, and I go blundering in and get the wrong colours. Absolute zero. Look at that. Wow. 
those two together oh just be frosty and lovely uh, 42 cerulean yeah do you have the Crayola Crayolas what do you think to them I suspect that they work better in some colouring books like all pencils and it's a matter of finding the colouring books that they work well in they work nicely on this paper and that's a relief because this is the paper that I've printed it on to do my let me move that out of the way for you printed it on to do my download uh, goodness me printed the download off onto it <laughs> oh goodness me and that's the one we'll be using to do the colour with me with. Okay. Sky blue. Look at those gorgeous blues. And, okay. 46. All right, nope. Must be in here. In the next little bundle. Yes, got to be. Please be here. Yep, yeah, there it is. Wild Blue Yonder. Oh, it's one of those beautiful blue greys. Look at that. Isn't that gorgeous? It's like a smoky... Like a... Well, blue grey, but smoky colour. I love those tones. Okay, 47. Cornflower. I am so impressed. I know it doesn't take a lot. <laughs> it does. It does take a lot to impress me. But the colour payoff, look at these colours. This is Crayola we're talking about. I haven't used a Crayola since I was, I don't know, five? I don't know. Very small child anyway. Maybe they've improved. I don't know. Maybe they've always been like this. That's nice. That's a beautiful colour. Look at that light blue. That's gorgeous. Um, 50, which is navy blue. Now, don't let us down, Crayola. Come on. That is a proper navy blue. Look at that. <gasps> Love it. Goodness me. I didn't think I'd be sitting here getting excited over Creo Crayola pencils. This one's called Out of Space, Outer Space. And that is a lovely dark colour. Look at that. Oh my goodness. 52, this is indigo. Okay, that's a purpley. I'd have probably swapped those two over. Yep, yeah, but it's correct. I've just checked, it's correct. And blue violet so we're going into our violets now oh my goodness look at those blues there we're missing like a very dark green aren't we a very dark like true green that's a bit short they sold us short on the greens folks this is not acceptable behaviors <laughs> Violet. No, I didn't press hard. I am now, though. <laughs> right, let's brush that off. Pretend it didn't happen. Shh. Don't tell anyone. <laughs> 55. I could have pressed hard if I'm if I'm telling the truth. My hands, you know, my hands spasm and that's gorgeous. Love it. 55, 56 is plum. Right, are we going to get a dark, rich, lovely purple? Yeah. Ooh, look at that one. <laughs> the excitement, folks, honestly. Just like a child. Only I never swatched my pencils as a child. Did you? Did it ever? It never even occurred to me to swatch my pencils as a child. I just would dive straight in, rip the packet open. 
You remember them long packets of um, felt-tip pens that you used to get? Like, it'd be 100 or 200 pens in them. I was always a, a pen and pencil fanatic. Paper, notebooks, um, pens, pencils, pencil pots, anything that go on a desk, pencil sharpeners, rubbers. Yeah, I was always absolutely f uh, fanatical about stationery. I remember, I'm, I'm going to confess now, royal purple, that's nice. I remember as a little girl, now and we're talking tiny, I would have been in my first year at primary school possibly, but I had that obsession for pens and pencils then. And um, I remember my mum taking me to school in the morning, we used to go into the little shop Look at that, there's a grey tone again, that pale rose. <gasps> Gosh, that is gorgeous. Yeah, so we'd go in the shop in the morning for whatever my mum needed, I don't know. And there was this um, eraser in there. And um, it had, like it was just a long eraser, but around it, I don't know why I was so fascinated by it, was like these hexagon shaped plastic bits, all different colours. And you could pull them off as you use the eraser. And I remember it being 50 pence. Now, I'm 49 years old. So, if I, I would have been, what, five? In my first year of school. Look at these purples. That was a lot of money. So I begged my mum. My mum said, no, you can't have it. So guess what I did? I know, I know, I stole it. I took it off the shelf, put it in my pocket, and off we went. The shopkeeper never said a word. Well, um, on my mum's way back from school, <laughs> they, they obviously knew each other quite well, the shopkeeper and my mum. The, sh the shopkeeper called out to my mum and said that she didn't want to do it in front of me. Look at that move. She didn't want to say anything in front of me. She thought it would be best to let my mum deal with it, but told her that I'd stolen this eraser well when I was at school I, you know I kept getting it out of my pocket and looking at it but I didn't use it I felt so guilty that I'd stolen this eraser so when uh, my mum fetched me from school and she told me that she knew I'd stolen it and how naughty it was and you know all the rest of it she said where is it so I showed her and it wasn't in a packet or anything it was just like loose on the shelf I had to go back in and apologise to the shopkeeper and hand it back. Oh, it was mortifying. Um, on both counts, mortifying because I'd been caught and I had to say sorry and I was embarrassed for my behaviour. But I never did get the eraser. But I'll never forget that as long as I live, the the feeling of guilt and... Yeah, but yeah, that was the extent of... That was the start, really, of my obsession with... Um, stationery and colouring and oh yeah so I've always done it but obviously you have a gap for like a million years from being a child into adulthood and it never really occurred to me until YouTube but what was I watching oh diamond painting stuff I was watching diamond painting videos and um, there was a channel that I was absolutely obsessed with she sadly is not around anymore, otherwise I'd tell you who she is. Um, but look at these pinks and purples, my goodness. Yeah, she's not around anymore, or sadly, yeah, I, I do miss that channel. This is called Winter Skies, this is going to be a, a luminous one. That's a nice pink. Um, yeah, so I was watching this diamond painting channels, I used to love it, watching people... Um, unbox diamond paintings and things like that and any, anyway she got into colouring and started colouring she wasn't very good but th it wasn't the point the point was how much she enjoyed it and how much joy that gave to me watching it um, and so I started looking into it started looking into adult colouring and I must have found the um, end of the month finished colouring pages. I must have found those because I remember looking at them and, and calling my husband 
I was upstairs in my office and he was watching the telly and I said, come and look at this. And I said, you know, oh my God, look at these pictures. They're like printed children's books, That the, the way these people have coloured them. And that was it. I was on a mission then that I wanted to colour like that. And I, I, I watched and watched and watched colouring videos. And I hadn't even got any books at that point. Um, and I was watching them and just thoroughly enjoying them. And then I, you know, I thought to myself, well, you need a colouring book. Why don't you give it a go? I can't remember what the first book I, I brought. I know I had Joanna Basford early on, like most people do. Uh, this is Fuzzy Wuzzy. Look at that salmon. And that, that's a great shadow skin tone. Oh, that's gorgeous. So is that salmon. Yeah, sorry, where was I? Um, uh, yeah, I can't remember the first book I got. I know Rita Berman's came early on. i uh, being really excited about getting those and how gorgeous they were. I remember it taking my breath away when I opened them. And um, Coco, that's a nice brand. Yeah, and that's where it started, really, this obsession. I don't know how I've got onto this topic with you. Oh, I was confessing, wasn't I? Confessing my sins to you. Yeah, I, yeah, well, you live and learn, folks. You live and learn. I was only very little. Copper. Look at that colour. I hope you can see this. Is my light better? Let me just... Let me move it over this side. Always seem to be better that side and give us less bother. Let me try. I'm going to have the wire across my lap, but it's a really dingy day. So is that better? Can you see those colours better now? What one's that? Okay, we've done that one. Sorry about my arm. I'm trying to get the colours out of this silly wrap. Okay, antique brass. Yeah, so you've had a little history lesson. Did you enjoy that? <laughs> Come on then, fess up in the comments. How many of you people, as a child, did something like that? Did you did you steal something because you so badly wanted it? I'm, I'm sure most people do. I could be wrong. Don't shoot me, please. It could just be me that's the, the little tear away that I was. Peach, let's check this one out. These must be like the skin tones. Oh, that's a nice peach. Isn't it? That's a really good peach. Can we darken that up? Yeah. Don't press too hard, Lucy Loops. Khaki. These are really nice tones. I wouldn't call that khaki, but it's a beautiful colour. It's like camel in the Artex pencils. I use that a lot. That's gorgeous. And furthermore, if I needed to replace several pencils, £18 is not going to break the bank, is it? I mean, how often do you replace a pencil? I don't know. Once, if you use it every day, once every, I don't know, six months, four months, five months, I don't know, something like that. So... Apricot. It's not going to break the bank, is it, having to replace them? I know it's annoying, but as far as I'm aware, in the UK, you can't buy these open stock, which is very frustrating, especially from a big company like Crayola. <clears throat> this is sand. Aren't they gorgeous, these tones? Oh, my gosh. Crayola, where have you been all my colouring, my adult colouring life? I've never even thought to look at uh, swatching, somebody swatching them or anything. Sometimes, honestly, people, sometimes I wonder about myself, considering we've been doing a budget pencil range and these have been sat on my shelf, my colouring cart for like probably 12 months or more. Right now I've got to pull this. Um, hang on, 89. Beaver. That's almost black, that brown. Look at that. That is a really, really good one. 
you watch my last colour along, I had to, I had to add a dark grey behind the brown because I wanted it even darker in the teddy bear book. Right, last little bundle I've got here. Oh, this is dark chocolate. Oh, I'm, I'm loving these colours. The fluorescents can do one as far as I'm concerned, <laughs> but that's just me. Uh, 90, got to find 91, 91, dark brown. Oh, gosh. Look at that one. Wow, that is like, that's almost like a, sap, like darker than sapia, isn't it? Um, 92, where are you? Here we go. Taupe, I bet this is nice. That is gorgeous. Oh, all these colours. They're just beautiful. 93. Where's 93? No. 90. Am I being blind? 94. Let's do 94. It will, I'll find it then. Oh yeah, I've got it. 90, 93 is white. I've set it to the side. So this is Timberwolf. Oh, look at that beautiful. I don't know what Timberwolf is, but it is a beautiful grey. I was wondering about the greys. Um, 95 is just plain grey. Is it warm or cold? It's a, it's a cold grey. They're not at all hard like I thought they would be. And then 96, we're nearly there. I've really enjoyed chattering today. You know, you get those days we just don't shut up. <laughs> Today's one of those. Warm grey. Oh, that's nice. That's really nice. Then we've got, when you see that dark brown against the grey, you can see that it's brown. 96, 97 is ash. Oh, that's like got a blue colour to it. Another cold one. That's gorgeous. Then we've got 98. Which is cool grey. And that's another one of those blue greys. Look. That's gorgeous. That would go beautifully with that blue yonder. Gorgeous. I'm so impressed. And finally, slate in the colours. And then we've got black. And we've got to do a white test. Is the white going to suck? <laughs> Let's see. Right. This is black. And I didn't write black in there. What a wally. That black is not half bad, you know. Oh my gosh. Seriously? Look at that. That is, that is really quite decent. Where's the, um, hang on. This is a Prisma. Let's put it next to it. Here you go, folks. There's your, oh, I can pick it up. There's your £18.00 for £100.00 and there's your £200.00 for £150.00. There's not much difference in that, is there? I'm really impressed with that black. There might be a, more of a shine on the Crayola. Look at those colours, folks. Oh my goodness. Right, what I did do, like we usually do, is I took a black alcohol marker on one of my little postcards so that we can test the white. Now we all know that white usually sucks in a budget set, don't we? So we're gonna try. Yeah, it's not great, is it? I mean, it works, it goes over it. It'd give you like a glow from a light. Look 
Okay, so that's the white. Now I've got a very stubby, flat prisma here. Mm. Darn it. Okay, so Crayola white, Prisma white. There's quite a bit of difference in that, but it still works. You know, it would be all right for like light beam. Should we try that yellow? Where's that mellow yellow or unmellow yellow? This one, let's try yellow. So you would be able to like get a glow from a, a lamp, lantern or something like that if you wanted it. But they're not very opaque, look. You can see that in the light. I look really brown in my thing. What do you think, folks? Come on, hang on, Lucy, behave yourself. So, look at this deliciousness. And I didn't fluff up. It paid off my sitting and ordering them this morning. Yeah, greens. Greens is a problem, I think. But we can always use um, another budget pencil set or we can mix them to make a dark green. Yeah, there really isn't. We've got olive and green. Well, I don't like that kind of green. I like these more earthy greens. So I'd probably have to mix it with something underneath. But other than that, I think it's a fantastic set. We've got a very pale blue. We've got incredibly um, dark blues. And we've got the plum. Now, outer space you could use for both, I think. I reckon you could blend the outer space with plum to make it even darker. Yeah, I think there's lots of possibilities with these. So, we are, I'm going to put the link for this down below. Look at this gorgeousness. Look at them. And um, we are going to colour one or two of these before Rita's book gets here. And we're going to use these pencils. So if I come out slightly, we are going to use the Crayola pencils to do so. So, yeah, I will put the link down below. Now, if you click on the little arrow right below my video, it will drop the menu down and you'll be able to see all the writing. You'll see my wish list. You'll see how to contact me. You'll see the link for this, the link for the Crayola pencils, all in that box just below the video. Um, yeah, so I will remove that for, for now. And I will let you go. Thank you for joining me and listening to my confession. <laughs> I do apologise. Oh, no, I've really enjoyed it. It's, it. it's been good fun. So until we meet again in the very, very near future, take really good care of yourselves, my friends, and I'll see you very soon. Bye-bye. <laughs>